It's time I had a rest, grumbled Sir Handel. Passengers, anyone would think we've nothing better to do than give them rides all day. You know what happened on our old railway when there weren't any, pointed out Peter Sam. It closed. We're lucky, if you ask me. I didn't, snorted Sir Handel rudely, and puffed noisily away. As he went, he made a plan. A bolt holding the top part of his cap had worked loose. He could feel it wobbling. If I rock and roll as much as I can, he said to himself, I can shape my cab even looser. Then I shall have to rest while it's mended. Steady, old chap, cautioned his driver, as Sir Handel bucketed along. Sir Handel grinned to himself and bounced more than ever. The fireman checked Sir Handel's springs before he and the driver went home, but nothing seemed wrong. I'll mention that worst bit of track to Mr. Hugh, said the driver, but I think Sir Handel's up to something. Next day, Sir Handel bounced so much that he almost derailed himself at the middle station. He quietened down after that, but then a really bad bump at some points broke the cab bolt altogether. You'll have to take the train, his driver told him. Scarloe and Peter Sam are up the line, and there isn't time to get the others ready. This made Sir Handel crosser than ever. Each time he puffed, his cab rattled, and then part of it caught on the chain which worked his whistle. Scar Lowy was waiting with his train in the loop at the middle station. In the distance, he heard a strange noise. It sounded as if an engine wanted to whistle, but couldn't quite manage it. Then Sir Handel came into view. As he crossed each rail joint, a puff of steam came from his whistle, and every time he gave a faint peep. Scar Lowy tried hard not to laugh. Sir Handel's driver finally didn't even try. They thought it was a huge joke, but Sir Handel was furious. That evening, his driver and fireman came to mend him. We're sorry we laughed, they said, but your whistle chain caught in your cab. The crosser you got, the more you rattled, and the more you rattled, the more you whistled. Sir Handel said nothing. His idea, he decided, hadn't been such a good one after all.